Hello, I'm going to teach you some core concepts when it comes to Duel. First, I would like to apologize if I ramble on during the video. To start, I would like you to just walk around and jump. And next, if you're familiar with fighting units, you can actually buffer your jump input. So, by what I mean by buffering is you're allowed to press jump again right before you touch the ground, it'll go ahead and enter in your next jump input. So I'll go ahead and show you an example of that. Okay, so next I'm going to teach you how to dash or tumble. So to dash, you want to start with your sword out, not your weapon, your sword. So to dash forward, obviously you press WW. To dash backwards, you press SS. To dash to the left, you go AA. And to go to the right, you press DD. Obviously, if you do the same thing with your gun out, you'll perform a tumble. So WW, SS, AA, DD. Next, I'm going to teach you basically just how to flip. So for flipping, basically, the default bind, I believe, is right-click, but for me, I've changed it, and it's X. So when you flip someone, it'll send them in the air, and if they don't press spacebar, they'll actually just be left on the ground in their easy, you know, kill, essentially. So I'll go ahead and show you an example of that. So if I run into this bot, and then I don't press spacebar, after I've been flipped, I'll basically just be laying on the ground and I'll be a easy kill, essentially. Now if I press spacebar, after I've been flipped, I'll do a safe fall. So I'll go ahead and show you an example of that. Ideally, you want to make sure that you're just spamming spacebar when you've been flipped, just to make sure you've gotten it. Um, there are some advanced stuff that you can do with flipping, but we won't cover that in this video. So next, I'm going to teach you how to wall run. The wall run, you want to start at about a 45 degree angle. You just basically want to angle yourself towards the wall, like so. And then you want to hold forward. And then once you hit the wall, you can actually just press spacebar and it'll do this wall run. It's kind of jank sometimes, you know, I might not even get it 100% of the time. Now there's some interesting stuff that you can do with wall running, but we won't really cover that in this video. This is just basically to kind of get your, uh, your foot in the door, essentially. So next, we're going to teach you basically the bread and butter of Guns the Duel, the butterfly. So first, you want to jump and then dash. I get familiar with doing this. Now, I remember that uh, jump buffer I was talking about earlier. You want to also do that. That will greatly clean up basically how this looks. If I do this, it kind of, I mean, it's okay, but it looks a little sloppy. So if I re-jump right after I dash, it looks a lot better. So next, you want to do jump, dash, then slash. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. It's important to jump, dash, then slash. Because it will lock you in animation if you jump, slash, then dash. So I'll go ahead and show you an example of what jump, slash, and then dash does. So... Now, if I try to dash again, if I do jump, slash, then dash, it won't allow me to. So I'll go ahead and show you an example of what that looks like. But if I do it correctly, I'll be able to actually 
dash again right after I've slashed. So if I do jump dash slash dash, it'll allow me to do that. So I'll go to show you example what that looks like. So the next, you want to do jump, dash, slash, then block. The block key by default is shift. I have mine on shift or right click. But I'll go ahead and show you an example of what this looks like. So to begin, you can actually just press slash and then block. It does look a little bit sloppy, but as you get familiar with the timing, you can actually press slash and block kind of at the same time and it'll look a lot cleaner. So next, we're going to start with Reload Shot. So to Reload Shot, we're going to start with your gun out. And then you're going to shoot, reload, switch to your other gun, shoot, and then reload. The purpose of this is that it's a lot faster than just shoot, switch your other weapon, shoot. So something I want you to get familiar with is just uh, switching to your weapon, then shoot, reload, switch back to sword. I to get familiar with this because this is basically how you're going to perform a lot of moves in this game. You're always going to want to shoot with a weapon, then switch back to the swords, shoot with your other weapon, switch back to your sword. So next, we're going to go to reload slash shot. So to start, it's very familiar kind of how, you know, I was teaching you butterfly. You know, instead of blocking afterwards, you switch after the slash. So to start, you want to do jump dash slash and then switch to either weapon one or weapon two this is how i would start doing the move now you remember how i was saying reload shot basically it switches your weapons faster so now you want to do jump dash slash switch to weapon one or weapon two shoot reload and then switch back to your sword because this will be quicker than just if you shot and then re or swap back to sword so i'll go ahead and show you an example of that so if i don't reload this is what it looks like Next, we're going to go to Reload Half Step. Sorry that I kind of fucked this up and not realize that. Let me go ahead and try to resize this. Hold on. I'm going to have to retype this out. Give me one moment. So you want to jump, dash, slash, switch to weapon 1 or weapon 2, dash again with your gun out. This will form a gun dash. So this this is what a gun dash basically looks like. So I'm going to jump, slash, and switch, and then I'm going to dash with my gun out. How you know you've done it right is you won't hear a dash and you won't tumble, but you'll actually basically do like a dash if you had as if you had your sword out essentially. I messed up there, but yeah. So ideally you want to jump, dash, slash, switch to weapon one, dash again with your gun out, shoot, reload, switch back to uh, weapon, or sorry, to sword. So
So to start, you can just do jump dash slash switch to weapon one dash again with your uh, your gun. So I'll go ahead and just show you what that looks like. And again, how you know you've gotten this right is that you won't do a tumble. If you wait too long, you will do a tumble. Uh, so. So I think basically that is like basic overview of guns of dual moves. Um, I will try to do more advanced moves. It depends how well I'm vested in this game called Swords of Legends. Um, basically that's it. I'll see you guys later.